survival, because if you get knocked out, you, you can't go any further. That's the great thing about the World Series of Poker. You're playing for seven. of here again. Welcome to the 2015 World Series of Poker Main Event Telecast presented by DraftKings. Under a thousand players remain focused on the nearly 7.7 .7 million dollar first place prize. Day four. Let's go! Now it's great to be here. It's great to be making day four. Even though I'm a bit short stacked. Look out, I'm going to traumatize a few. <laughs> That's what we're here for, to traumatize. <laughs> Bobby, Let's do it. Day four, baby. Day four. Yeah! Go to day five. Whether you walk, hop, skip, or jump, just be ready for the shuffle up and deal. Hi, everyone. Lon McCarran, along with my broadcast partner, Norman Chad. Kara Scott will join us from the floor. So many big names left, including Kid Poker, Daniel Negreanu. Kid Poker? He's 40 years old. That's a midlife crisis poker, for crying out loud. The magician, Antonio Estandiari, has a healthy stack. This is his first main event as a dad, and he loves his baby boy, but trust me, check raising on day four beats changing diapers. It's been 10 years since that guy Joe Hashem won the big one. It's been 10 years since we heard Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. Lon, you're getting old. Phil Hellview has some ground to make up on the field. Oh, the poker brat will overwhelm that modest stack with his earbuds, his sunglasses, his shopping bag, his coffee, and his ego. Helmuth, a long way from the day four chip leader, Amr Anand, who is one of three players over a million, including pro Brian Hastings. Some other notables, Fatima Marrera DeMello, won a gold medal in 08 in Olympic field hockey. Go Phil Locke! The main event gives anyone a chance to be a world champion. Even Fatima Marrera DeMello, who was already a world champion, for the 10th straight year, over 6,000 players paid 10 grand apiece for a shot at, as you would say, Norman, the last American gold rush. This year, the landscape is a bit different. Sure, there are amateurs, but there are an awful lot of big-name pros, too. First of all, let me just say, I like it when you quote me. It, it suits you well. Second of all, I love big-name pros. I'd be thrilled if Danny Negrano, Antonio Esfandiari, or Phil Helmuth went all the way. Third of all, because I'm a people person, people always ask me, who's going to win? I have no idea. I've never been right. Which reminds me, fourth of all, Phil Ivey, he's dead to me. You start with 170 or 270? Don't rub it in like that. <laughs> 170, right? Something said 270. I thought I read somewhere with 270. You're talking about how many chips I deserve to have or how many chips I have? No, I don't use that word in poker. You're right. It's a silly word to use. I agree with you. So often I feel like I deserve a million in chips, and I'm right, but then sometimes I only, sometimes I have a million in chips, and I only deserve 500,000. Helmuth waxing philosophical with former World Poker Tour Player of the Year, Muckle Pahuja. Helmuth does not need the most chips at a table to be the captain of the table. He will be captain and commandant of this feature table. Muckle, one of six below average stacks at this feature table. He's got a good seat to the left of the big stack, Lance Harris. Always fun to get insight into the mind of Phil Helmuth. He tweeted recently, Name of the game in the main event to keep yourself alive. On Phil's right, Jay Kim, 30-year-old poker pro living in South Korea. And sporting the Blackhawks cap, Mike Cloud from Chicago, an amateur with one previous main event cash. We started with 6,420 players. Nearly $7.7 .7 million will go to the winner. Brian DeLeon from the button with a seven off raises to 11,000. The blinds are 2,500 and 5K with a 500 ante. Lon, this is the main event, baby. I am stoked! <laughs> Kim folded in the big blind is Helmuth, now a 14-time World Series of Poker bracelet winner. He makes a call for 6,000 more. Yeah, this is Helmuth's eighth main event cash, tying him for third all-time with Doyle Brunson and Bobby Baldwin. And the flop, top pair, and a flush draw for Helmuth. He checks it to De Leon. Well, looks like the 37-year-old graphic designer right here is designing without a pencil. That's like fishing without a pole, Lon. <laughs> he bets 6,500. That appears to be a red pleather mesh hat, a combination of three things I don't care for in any item of clothing, much less a hat. 14. A check raise from Phil to 14,000. I thought Helmuth might just call there and let De Leon stab at it again on the turn. The self-described military brat taking on the poker brat and he will fold it and Helmuth will stack the winnings well when he's not talking Phil is usually happy he's happy right now 
Phil Hellmuth looking for bracelet number 15. Still approximately 75 tables in action here in the Amazon room. The field continues to shrink. One player who's still in it, 94-year-old William Walker. Yeah, 94. Yeah, he learned to play poker while in the Merchant Marines 74 years ago. Please give a very nice WSOP welcome and a salute to this man from Carmel, New York, Mr. William Washer. What do you want to say to all these guys here? I didn't come here to lose. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Shove off and deal. Shove off. The scene a little earlier on day four as play officially got underway. Incidentally, Walker isn't the oldest player ever to compete at the main event. That honor belongs to the late Jack Urey, who was 97 when he played. A flatter payout structure this year in which 1,000 players cashed. A bust out right now worth 15K. At an outer table, Daniel Negreanu jousting with amateur Ryan Tevis. After the turn, Tevis leads with a pair of jacks. He checks to Daniel on a Broadway draw. Daniels won six bracelets, but as you can see, apparently the World Series of Poker gave him all black leather ones. Negrano will bet it. Tevis, a L.A. poker pro, also sells flywheels for automatic transmissions. I've got to tell you, those guys get all the great women. <laughs> Tevis probably not looking to build a big pot, but he will make the call, and they'll see a river. The river is the queen of diamonds. Negrano gets there via Broadway. What a card. Daniel was married a few years ago and got divorced. I think that's the last time he ran bad. Actually, maybe he ran good then. Oh, and Tevis looking like he wants to put chips in the middle. 55,500. Boy, Daniel lives such a good life. He gets the other guy to lead into him here. Daniel with the nuts straight. Maybe the backdoor flush that got there worries him. Yeah, Tevis has no diamond in his hand. And Daniel with that ace of diamonds, maybe that helps raise. this raise here. I didn't even see that diamond was a diamond. Ah, that's a diamond. <laughs> 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 but he said flush, I'm like, what do I mean? Flush, flush, flush. Oh my gosh. If Daniel has a tell, he definitely does not have a flush here. <laughs> he didn't even see it was a queen of diamonds, he said. Can I take that raise back? Well, Tevis has a tell right now. He looks beat. Back on. <laughs> well, Tevis considering making this call. It would be for almost another 100000 He does give it up, and the 2014 Poker Hall of Famer takes about half of Tevis's stack. That is, that is a fact. But I did have a better hand than you. <laughs> the 36-year-old Tevis finished 447th in the main two years ago. Daniel with a healthy pile of chips, almost twice the room average. He likes to work out. Daniel needs to work out to handle all these chips. <laughs> Back over to the featured table now where Phil Helmuth is holding court. You think that's the guy that just had top set hold up? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's the guy that, just, the guy that just made the flush. <laughs> He just cracked the top set. Mike Cloud, the amateur from Chicago, king 10 of clubs and a raise to 11,000. Like they get it in so bad, and then they hit their card, and then they scream and yell, and you just sit there like, thank you. De Leon the folds to Jay balls. Kim, king queen of diamonds. Born in Los Angeles, but now plays online in Seoul, South Korea. You know what that word deserves. Helmuth, born in Madison, Wisconsin, but nowadays the world is his stage. Action on Phil Helmuth on the button. Ace, deuce of diamonds. 11? 11. Amateur and a pro already in the hand, and the button looking to get flop lucky. Well, if Phil Rays and someone called him with ace deuce on the button, he would berate them. Maybe Phil will berate himself later. 59-year-old oh. retired Wall Street trader Rick Barabino, and the big blind comes along with 9-5 off. Four players. 10, 6, 8, 2 diamonds. Helmuth favored with the nut flush draw. Cloud is best with top pair, which he checks now to Kim. Check. Gives away to Helmuth. Kim thought about semi-bluffing with his king high flush draw. Helmuth definitely thinking about the same thing with his ace high flush draw. I'm all in. You heard the man. Wow, he shoves. 
for 113.5. Halmuth usually doesn't like to put himself at risk, but he likes this spot. Cloud, a tech guy. I'll take this one, you take the next one. <laughs> That's what I'm figuring. I don't know. All right. Top pair. All right, deal. So how mad would you be if I called with just a naked flush draw in overs? He'd be ecstatic until you somehow beat him. Oh, okay. Then the wrath of the world would come down on you. Kim started the hand with 58 big yeah, blinds. Jack, so good. Yeah, this would be for about 40% of his stack. Show Queen Jack. You're a legend. You wouldn't just shove Queen Jack like that, would you? But you wouldn't shove a straight either. 114 into 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, I'm a fold. I'm a fold. No, no, give him his hand back. What does he have, the king, queen of diamonds? Give him oh. his cards back. Ace nine diamonds. I have an ace high flush draw. When yeah. you, said you have I an ace high flush draw. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I had exactly. Check. You were just dead. Why didn't you put it in? You're supposed to call there. Oh my God. You were that ace high flush draw. Ah. Yeah. Well, the cat. I mean, either I just lied yeah. to a million people. <laughs> anyway, there's going to be five million people watch this at least. Five million people watch this lot. We've got a dress bag. Right. I can't check. I can check. I could check. Yeah. Diamond pops off. I'm doubled up. We are deep in like Bill Helmuth's world here on day four. The 2015 World Series of Poker is presented by DraftKings. Play weekly fantasy football for free and win huge cash prizes. Get to DraftKings.com now. And in part by the WSOP Social Game, poker's number one mobile game. Free download available now in the App Store and Google Play. $10,000 gives you a shot to be the next world champion and the opportunity for a huge payday. But it also gives you a seat with the biggest names in the game. Poker players set their own schedules, meander their way through countless tournament stops across the country and all over the world. Yet, they all find their way back to Las Vegas for the main event. It's a family reunion, poker style. I'm late. <laughs> uh -huh. Just wave at the camera, buddy. There you go, Marty. Get in there, buddy. Get in there. I'm trying to call my dad so he can be Ray Romano. My dad's watched your reruns more than anybody in the country. So, Ronnie, we won't bust him then. Big stars from many different worlds were here. Uh, hello, is this Mary? Your son, Alex, he's being mean to Brad. Where was he raised? Are you guys playing with him? In a sense, yeah. <laughs> Brad and Ray should do TV. Miss. Loose aggressive. Always unusual sights at the main event, but everyone comes here with a love for the game of poker. It's the sport of every man, every woman, every Madiso. Oh, that's the best sound I've seen since Bush was president. Oh my God. $10,000 Nestle's Crunch Bar right there. <laughs> hey. Hey. Boom. Maximum pay. Along the way, some big names were eliminated before day four. Greg Merson, Phil Ivey. Thanks for coming. God. Ronnie Barda's record of five straight main event caches came to an end. The grinder, Michael Mizraki, is gone. Phil Galfon, so long. Greg Raymer, out of here. Brad Garrett, all in, all out. Oh, the main event just got a lot less fun. So at least next year. Breaking bads, Aaron Paul busted early, as did James Woods. See you next year, boys. Defending champion Martin Jacobson was knocked out on day one of this year's main event. Johnny Chan still the last back-to-back -back main event champion in 1987 and 88. 626 left. There is the chip leader, Amr Anand. He's a product manager at Airbnb. Poker players always need rooms. This guy knows his market. JC Tran still here. Time to move on from the Sacramento Kings, JC. They're duds. Duds with a new arena. Everyone has a new arena. Tim Riley's playing in his fifth consecutive main event. He's a Patriots, Bruins, and Celtics fan. That's three strikes and you're out, Tim. Good knowing you. And there's Tim's new bride, Ness Riley. Studied economics at La Sorbonne? Yeah. And I studied happy hour economics at La Maryland. <laughs> Ness and her opponent, Bryce Yaki, both flop two pair. Yaki has the best of it with queens up. This is his fourth cash at this year's World Series. 27-year-old LA pro. Action on Ness Riley. She and Tim were married less than a year ago and happily playing this main event, supporting each other. And she will bet 48,000. 
By the way, when he opens that bottle up, a genie comes out. <laughs> Yaki playing a stack of 274,000. Riley with 758,000. Husband and wife cashing in the same main event. That is impressive. Yaki with queens and fours. Just with the call with the best hand. You know, in the history of the World Series, only two married couples have won open field bracelets. Max and Maria Stern, Harry and Jerry Thomas. Turn card five of diamonds, no help to Ness Riley. She's the only one in the room who thinks it's too hot here, but she does turn <laughs> the heat up on Yaki all in. Well, I hate when my opponent says all in while they're taking off a sweater because you get the impression that they plan to be here for a while. Tough spot here for Yaki for all his chips. Yeah, Yaki no poker slouch with nearly 800,000 in cash in live earnings. But this would be for his whole stack, and he gives up the best hand. Quite a move from her. I know who wears the pants in that family. <laughs> Yaki's going to hate to see that on TV. <laughs> Riley's big stack served her well there. On the left, 2010 world champ Jonathan Duhamel looks impressed. 11 women left in the field, including Lily Newhouse, a local pro. Only 252 women entered this year's main event. That's less than 4% of the field. That's not a good number. Fatima Morera de Mello, over 400,000. She quit law school to play field hockey. You don't quit law school to play field hockey. You quit law school to play poker. Kelly Minkins, an attorney from Phoenix. Yeah, like I'm going to trust a lawyer in a hoodie. This is her fourth cash of this World Series. From Stockholm is Diana Svensk. Jeez, I stopped speaking Swedish three years ago. What an idiot I am. She's coming off a World Series cash just before this main event began. All right, let's get back to check in on Daniel Negreanu's table. Negreanu and two others saw a flop of Jack Jack Trey. Daniel, the only one without King Jack, so he checked. Hiding under the hat, an attorney from Indiana, Michael Shanahan, bet 20500 with his trips, and Ryan Tevis makes that call. Daniel gets out of the way. Uh, another lawyer slumming at the main event. Doesn't anyone in the field of law work anymore? <laughs> All right, we're heads up to the turn. And 10 of diamonds, so along with his trips, Shanahan adds a flush draw. He puts Tevis all in. Tevis makes the call. Well, Tevis at risk. They will split the pot unless a diamond hits the river. Ooh, lucky you. I'm sorry, I've got this one. It doesn't no, feel good. No, 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 I know. That I've been on both ends of it. And... Now the river card. Is a diamond! Oh, a flush for Shanahan, and instead of a chop pot, it's Tevis who is chopped from the field. What a way to go. And with that, this amateur is our main event chip leader. An attorney dressed like a fisherman in a card room. Great. Tevis will collect the new payout. There are so many ways to bust from the main event. However, that is one of the cruelest, but Shanahan will take it. Welcome back to the 2015 World Series of Poker main event. Aussies have often fared well in Vegas. This year, no exception. Cricket legend Shane Warren made the money, but his run has come to an end. He's been waking up at 3 a.m. during the main event to watch Australian cricket DVR it. If he'd slept more, maybe he'd last longer. The average stack size right now, 341,000, with the amateur Shanahan still blazing the trail. To an outer table, Jonathan Duhamel all in pre-flop with King Queen against the A7 of Sean Keller. Keller cashed in the 2011 main event. Here is the flop. Nothing there for Duhamel, the first Canadian to win the main event. Turn card is an ace, and that will end it. Duhamel drawing dead. His main event has come to an end. Good luck, guys. Enjoy. Have fun. There was nothing she could do to save him. Nothing. Jonathan won bracelet number two earlier this year. What was next year? And four million bucks, the high roller for one drop. So that past champ is gone, leaving four others in the field. Ryan Reese still has it going. I don't even remember him winning. Really? Was he even old enough? <laughs> Jim Bechtel won it in 1993. 1993? I didn't even know there was a main event in 1993. Yeah, he beat Glenn Cozen heads up. If you say so. Joe Hashem won it 10 years ago. He's still in it. According to my record, Steve Daneman of Maryland won the main event in 2005. And the 1989 world champ, who has won 13 bracelets since he took down Johnny Chan. That's quite the day one draw you ran into, huh? Oh, yeah, I saw that. I walked in, and there was Phil Ivey and Keith Lear at my table. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, you don't know anybody in your whole section. 7,000 people, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, it's Ivey and Keith Lear, and I'm like, 
<laughs> and then they brought Melanie Weissner to our table. Wow. I was like, what in the world? That's a crazy but I game. tripled up. I made a lot of hands, so. Uh, yeah, tough, a tough draw is a good one if you make Speaking a lot of, of making hands, hands. Yep, aces for Phil. Phil has a tell on. Small talk is over when he has pocket aces. <laughs> Isn't that right? 11, Two times the big blind plus a thousand. Does anyone want to challenge Phil Helmuth here? On Muckle, he gives it up. Now around to the button and blinds. On the button, Miguel Sieri, weak king. Helmuth praying that someone gets out of line here. Around a cloud now in the small blind, and he folds. Only Brian DeLeon in the big left. I get the feeling he had people stealing glances at his cards at some point in his life. <laughs> <laughs> no takers. God dang it all. I told you I was going to pick this hand up. Muckle. Oh, if this yeah. guy had ace queen, I'd just You didn't get do all. what you said you were going to do. You, you said you were going to limp in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can't limp because, uh, because they're three betting me so if you had limp, they would have gone all in. All I needed was ace jack. <laughs> I was going all in against him. I was just going to rip it. Any ace jack, you erase me for sure. For sure. It's a tough hand to find when you got two of the aces. If you had two nines, you'd give it all to me. Like, I just, all those I just all in. Just even if you know that I'm folding, <laughs> even if you know I'm folding <laughs> ace king, they just can't wait to give me the money. By the way, Phil was not kidding when he said he had it rough on day one. <laughs> I love how I have it every time against you. Yeah. Somehow it's always four back. I love it. He's not like a gnome, but hold him. Deep spec specialist. There's only four or five hands I could raise him in the well, I tried to trap you, Phil. So it didn't work out too well. What? What the flop? What are you talking about? The table talk is just unparalleled. Unparalleled. That was Melanie Weisner talking to Ivy, and like a lot of us, marveling at what comes out of Phil Helmuth's mouth. Well, look at Phil here with 8 7 there? suited. 70? About. This is the other Phil Helmuth we might see here. Onto the gun, John Bornstein raised it to 10-5 with Queen Jack of Clubs. 27. Re -raise. A re-raise from Helmuth in the big blind. Wow. I opened under the gun and he three bets me. 25-year-old pro from New Jersey where he plays right, online. And he gives uh, it up. Boy, Phil re-raises from the big blind with a hand that he would never want someone to three bet him with. That's the other Phil Helmuth. Could have maybe been another zippity doo down moment. When he won World Series Europe main event in 2012, we saw some of this type of play from him. See where I opened from? Yeah, I was but in the first position. I thought you had something, but what can I do? I did have something. I not believe to, you. Not to withstand a raise from the big blind. Welcome back to day four of the main event. 6,420 players began on day one. We're now under 600. 1,000 made the money this year as we head out to an outer table and a man everyone should have the chance to play with. Well, not, well, I have a, that was a very healthy it's the one and only yeah, Phil Locke, one of four players who took time out to compete at the Side Action Championship. Welcome to the second annual Side Action Championship. Frankly, I didn't think it would be back. Frankly, I'm not sure it should be back, but it is back. So might as well get started. Tonight, four accomplished poker stars, Phil Halmuth, Phil Locke, Maria Ho, and Jean Robert Ballon will compete for the title. The first game is Poker Shuffleboard. Every player gets four flicks. If the card lands entirely in the box, the player gets three points. If the card touches the line, the player gets one point. First up is Phil Locke. He'll get four attempts. Mm. This is ridiculous. Uh. Oh. All right, well, All right, that I was can, I can beat that. I could beat that. Phil Locke gets three points for his opening try. Next up, JRB. Make sure it's a flick. OK, zero. 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 Line it up, JRB. Zero. Zero. Zero, zero four it. times equals zero. That's easy to calculate, <laughs> by the way. Next up, Maria Ho. Right. Oh, 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 you touched it. You touched it. 
Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is how you guys want to win. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> We're competitive. Two. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Don't touch. Yeah. Three. Yep. Oh, that's a point. Oh, is that a, is that really a point? Yes. Nice comeback. Oh, that one did not go yeah. in. Everyone beats JRB Maria with one point. Now we go to the poker brat. Clearing the field. This is legitimate. This Tell is, me this when is you're ready. Technique ready. with the thumb. The thumb? Okay. That's allowed. It's allowed. It's allowed. He's got to release it. It's a new technique. Very oh, nice start. Very strong. He has a follow through too. Yeah, he's very. He's, got, he's studied. Oh. <laughs> Maybe he didn't study as much as we thought. Oh no! Oh, you got blocked. You got blocked by your own. The card. thumb doesn't work. <laughs> the thumb will work. Watch. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Phil Locke wins our opening event. Jean Robert picking up this year right where he left off in 2014. <laughs> to an outer table now, Antonio Estandiari with ace 10. He's come up empty on the turn against the pair of fours with straight and flush draws of Cleveland amateur Jesse Howells. He works in real estate development. By the way, Antonio noticeably absent from the side action competition. His magician background hurt him with the selection committee. Antonio with a bet of 32,000. He got things started with an under the gun raise pre-flop. Howells called from the button. Well, this bet from Antonio would have a better chance of shedding Howells if that king was not a club. Sunglasses, a hoodie, and a beard. That's a lifetime ban for my home game. <laughs> Howells with the shorter stack makes the call. River card now. 160,000 in the pot. And it is another four trips on the river for Howells. His hand can't be beat. Antonio with eight caches at this World Series, but all till now, $13,000 or less. That's chump change after he won 18 million in 2012 with the big one for one drop. Antonio put him all in. Howells made the snap call. Esfandiari will pay him off. A bad spot. Bad spot there for Esfandiari to put Howells all in, and it cost him a lot. Antonio takes a very serious hit to his stack. 40% gone across the table. And now Howells sits with 66 big blinds. Well done, Jesse. All right, one of the big stacks in the room is in front of Joe McKeon, the poker pro from Pennsylvania. He turned a set of aces against the pocket tens of fellow pro Stephen Costello. Costello faces a bet for all his chips after the River Queen of Diamonds. 28-year-old from Las Vegas. Makes the call, hoping to catch a bluff, but his misread instead cost him his main event. That's a gift for McKeon. The only gifts I ever get are, are those free return labels in the mail. <laughs> a nice pop to the stack of McKeon. He's up to almost 1.4 million now. For Costello, he'll say goodbye and collect almost 20,000 on his way out. It's a simple game sometimes. Bet with the best hand, get called by the weaker hand. Joe McKeon back in the top 10. Back to the 2015 World Series of Poker main event telecast presented by DraftKings. Back now to the feature table, one of the pros lucky enough to sit with Phil Helmuth, 29-year-old Muckle Pahuja. Penn State grad, 2014 WPT Player of the Year. He and his brother Vinny, also a poker pro, both cashed in last year's main event. Helmuth from middle position, ace king off suitor raised to 11,000 to John Borenstein now. He looks down at king queen off. This is the moment the poker brats been waiting for, a Bornstein three bet. <laughs> Bornstein just calls, though. Folded to the small blind, Lance Harris, the big stack at this table, 37-year-old pro from Minneapolis with ace-10. Harris, a former blackjack dealer, so this is a hand he will play. <laughs> no doubt. He's got nearly 900,000 chips, and he calls from the small blind, and the big blind is Pahuja with nine deuce of spades, and he's got to come along for that price. I'm going to take a bathroom break, Lon. Let me know how Phil reacts at the end of this one. <laughs> a lot of Broadway cards and nine deuce. Here's the flop. Eight, six, seven, rainbow. Wow, the percentage is there indicating the worst hand at the moment. The nine deuce is favored. New math befuddles me. What does it befuddle you? I just don't see the upside of, of talking with you. <laughs> I'll check. Five of spades. Well, nine deuce just turned a straight. Wow. <laughs> Harris with a gut shot to a higher straight. Pahuja now with that nine high straight. Bet 16,000. Phil's not happy. 
<laughs> he folds his ace king. I can show you one, Phil. You want to see it? Show the jack. Got that one. Ah. Uh. He shows the deuce to keep Must the needle nice, busy. Buddy. Just smash ace king like it's nothing. My friend here forgot to raise. He couldn't have as big as ace jack. Not bigger than ace jack. Come on. The best hand pre-flop didn't hold up. Phil thinks this is rare. You were just gonna sail it in with ace king? Yep. Wow. Against you, <laughs> it was going in quick. Zippity do that, pal. Zippity do that. <laughs> I may have folded ace king once, just once in 30 hours, but uh, against you, it was zip. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Many. That was my Damn first world-class defense of the day. <laughs> Good for you, Muckle. The deuce four sometimes <laughs> beats the... The deuce four beats the ace king. Congratulations, buddy. <laughs> I mean, people in general are really afraid of me. I feel the fear. I see it, you know? And I hear it, the way they talk. And so I see all these people that are afraid of me, and that just it makes it easier for me. I'm afraid of him, but in a different way than he thinks. <laughs> Phil on the button with just 28 big blinds, jack seven. He's gonna raise it up to 16,000. De Leon's taking a selfie with Phil in the background. <laughs> I think that's a tell. Not a Borenstein in the small blind, ace nine. Here's a three bet from Borenstein I'd love to see. I'll take this one, you take the next one, kid. I'll take this one, you take the next one. Sounds like Phil's next book. Okay, all right. Bornstein folds. Rick Barabino now in the big blind, Jack 10. Barabino strikes me as a cross between Christopher Walken and Bill Clinton. <laughs> With the suited Jack 10, he calls. He's got a dominating hand against the poker. Brett, both connect with that flop, pairing their kickers. Phil checks after Rick had checked. Not a good spot here for Phil, but he saves chips, not betting his pair. Barabino checks. He's 15. an accomplished, internationally known backgammon player. Helmuth bets 15,000. And Barabino pretty much beat him into the pot. He did indeed. Another 10 for Barabino. He checks the third time, hoping Phil's going to bet, but he doesn't this time. Jack 10. Give me the money. Call 16,000 when they know I have it. Yeah. I mean, I guys can't win. They don't have the patience. 16,000 with Jack 10. Them what they deserve. They get to look at one street. Okay. Just when we thought qualifying for the senior event would mellow the poker brat somewhat. Nice hand, buddy. But it's still business as usual. Watching the World Series of Poker main event telecast presented by DraftKings. 94-year-old William Walker was down to just 40K. A third went in pre-flop of King Jack. His opponent just flopped an ace. Belgium pro Kenny Hollert. He checks. And the rest go in. I guess that was plan B. Hollert calls, of course. Walker in trouble. <laughs> The oldest player ever to cash in the main event at risk, needing help. He pairs the king, but he's got to do that again. This is a knockout. <laughs> the river is a blank. Howard takes the pot and sends William Walker to the rail. Now, he didn't come here to lose. And even though he was just knocked out, William Walker was a winner. He told us that if he got knocked out tonight, he was going to look for sponsors to put him in next year's main event. So another main event in the books for William Walker. Along the way, he became the oldest player ever to cash in this world championship. Some of you may recall that 2015 bracelet winner Sean D paid for his grandmother Ellen's entry into the main event in 2011, but I think he made her pay her own way in 2012. The World War II veteran, 94-year-old, the eldest player here at the main event, has now been eliminated. Nice round of applause for William Walker. Bill, we'll see you again next year, sir. We're still going to be the oldest player ever to cash in the main event of the World Series of Poker. 94. Sick. He, he was 94, is that right? He was 94? Wow. We'll see you again next year. Rock and roll. Look. It's possible Walker's lying about his age, you know, to get Social Security earlier than he should have. <laughs> Call. He invented Social Security. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to our feature table. Helmuth limped in with ace-jack of clubs. Well, here's the thing about Helmuth. 
He goes on that rant after the Barabino hand, he uses 11 variations of a very bad word, then tells him, nice hand, buddy. Big blind, Muckle Pahucha, seven deuce off, and he checks his option. Oh, goodness. Now Phil's limped in with the ace jack and let the seven deuce in. Here is the flop. Deuce five Check. queen. <laughs> Muckle pairs up. He checks. Phil bets 8,000. And Phil about to take that first step into the valley of unhappiness. Muckle, a former junior trader on Wall Street, followed his brother into poker. He calls. Yeah, you can't get those kind of opportunities in finance. Nobody tortures Warren Buffett. <laughs> Another deuce on the turn. Check, check. River card. Oh, and Muckle fills up. The valley of unhappiness awaits my poker brat. <laughs> Wow, he let him into the pot with seven <laughs> deuce. You're having a fun day against me, aren't you, buddy? Phil will fold. Fun day. Might have folded if you raised. Why do I want to raise you? I want you in there when I base check. So are you going to outflop it every time? Definitely. Oh, well, I didn't know that. It worked for you, though. Would you call the brown man? Yeah. <laughs> that's, called, that's called chewing your leg out to get out of the trap, kid. I just checked the table. I don't want to chew my leg. I just, I just tapped the table. Well, you have one way of describing it. I have another. Fair enough. Do you think I was not going to have Ace Jack suited when I limped this time? Of course. Of course he had Ace Jack suited when he limped this time. We're on Wait, tantrum alert here at the featured table as we listen in on Phil Helmuth's Day 4. Boys, you can't believe your eyes against me. If you want to play great poker, you have to control what they do, too. It's not a one-way street. You play the cards, Muckle. I play the people. And the cards. I like vanilla. Mm, nom, 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 nom. I'll take this one. You take the next one. <laughs> Three times they repop me. It's going to be such a good day. It's so yummy. <laughs> I said, that's why I'm Phil Helmuth. We could see the disappointment in his eyes. He was like, you're the best, Phil. To his credit, Phil gives these lessons for free, though I'd actually pay to listen to him all day. <laughs> Muckle won a deep stacks event at the Venetian for over 200K three weeks before the main event began. He's feeling it. He raised it up with pocket eights and got Phil to come along in the big blind with Jack Trey of spades. Calling a raise out of position with Jack three? Go figure. Elmuth misses and checks. Muckle now with the pocket eights, the best hand, bets 8,000. He puts in a continuation bet. When Phil clasps his hands like that, I never know if he's strong, weak, or, or just chilly. Guaranteed right. to be two out of three of those. <laughs> Phil, aha, the old check raise the paired board trick. Well, if I'm Pahuja, I wouldn't figure Phil would raise me here with an ace in his hand. He, he would just smooth call and let me keep betting at the pot. And Pahuja makes the call for 9,000 more. Good read, good hopes, or just because it's Phil. I think Helmuth's in free fall here. Third diamond on board. Helmuth picks up a wheel draw. This time he leads out 16,000. Insta fold from Pahuja. Phil will take it. I understand nothing, so I will say nothing. That's Phil. It's been mostly downs for Helmuth here on day four, but perhaps this could be a turning point. A nice bluff redirects some of Muckle's chips back to the poker brat. The 2015 World Series of Poker is presented by DraftKings. Play weekly fantasy football for free and win huge cash prizes. Get to DraftKings.com now. And in part by the WSOP Social Game, poker's number one mobile game. Free download available now in the App Store and Google Play. It's been 12 years since Chris Moneymaker changed poker and changed our lives forever. My 13th year in the booth with you. Wow. John Bornstein went out in 507th place, bittersweet. He's out, but he doesn't have to listen to Phil's rants anymore. Tim Riley hanging around with 141,000. Betcha his wife has more than that. You would win the bet. His wife, Ness, is working her financial magic at the table, sitting with over 800,000. Meanwhile, Daniel Negrano having a quick workout with Sean Harris, AKA Sean the Dealer. But suddenly Daniel's Jack Palance? Vegan push-ups, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I started hearing clapping. I'm like, you can't show me up like that. <laughs> 
Back to the featured table. Helmuth keeping busy, squeezing from the small blind with seven six off. Action now on Jay Kim on the button with pocket eights. He's a Berkeley undergrad, Washington University Law School grad. And again, Helmuth showing aggression with squad douche from the small blind. Wow, I didn't want you to call. <laughs> There's the flop. Pocket eight still good for Kim. Phil checks. Aggression remains the number one tool for success in No Limit Hold'em. I know this because I'm never aggressive and I never succeed. <laughs> Very nice. We should put that together. Pocket eights for Kim and he checks back. Turn card, five of spades. Helmuth picks up a double belly buster straight draw. Reaching for chips 38. now. 38,000, he announces. Well, I'm surprised Kim didn't bet in position on the flop. And now Helmuth will seize the betting lead, bluffing at it with this double gut shot. And I don't think Phil wanted that call either. Yeah, Phil is in a precarious position here, getting short on chips. River card now. Jay Kim with the best of it. Uh, another tray. Kim's eights hold up. Helmuth with nothing. Now what, Phil? He tried to steal it pre-flop, buy it on the turn. I don't know if he's thinking of betting or if he's rehearsing his next rant in his head. Kim has been very sticky with the eights. I think you might have pocket eights or pocket tens here. Seventy thousand. Wow, what a speech and a bet of seventy thousand. Very few pros play it this way. A signature poker brat move. That seventy thousand on the bluff leaves just twenty-three thousand behind. I'll take this one, kid. You take the next one. You already took the last one. This is Phil's main event on the line right here. If he wins, he's in good shape. If he loses, he's in all-in mode. Phil using all his powers to try to win this, knowing he can't stand a showdown here. Ah, I don't like the pump fake. There's no shame in folding, sir. There's no shame in folding. Could be the sequel to I'll take this one, you take the next one. Remember Halmuth, three bet preflop, led on the turn, and then called Kim's hand on the river. You called my hand pretty correctly. Let me have this one, jeez. You don't have to be this stubborn. Jeez, Phil, begging doesn't become you. He has to pull out all the stops. Man, I wish I watched more TV footage of you. I should have watched more of the master at work. I'm not sure what all this means. I mean, it should definitely be a fold, right? Squeeze. I'll Two. take this one. You take the next one, kid. Squeeze. Two tighter. Check. Bet. Bet. A lot of goading me into talking, too, but you're a master. I mean, you would know that you're goading me into calling. He's Phil Halmuth. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think I can call. Nothing official yet. I'll take this one, you take the next one. Sounds like a musical, maybe. Yeah, you call my hand, I'm out. Kim Fold yes, and Helmuth, wow, what a performance. Ladies and gentlemen, the poker brand. Right, now I have to honor my deal, now you have to, I have to fold the next time you race. <laughs> I'll give you a choice, okay? Okay. Sounds good. Wasn't a deal, though. It was a good bet. Good yeah. bet. If only he knew how good. J. Kim's fold keeps Helmuth's main event hopes alive, but the poker brat with plenty of work left to do. Meanwhile, amateur Michael Shanahan continues to lead this field on day four with over 1.7 million chips. What a rush he's been on.
What a night when 94-year-old William Wachter got things started. Come on and deal. A 50-year-old laid the groundwork for his 15th bracelet. I'll take this one, you take the next one. My friend here forgot to raise. Well, you have one way of describing it, I have another. As only Phil Hellmuth can. Don't rub it in like that. Some players win by showing up. I didn't come here to lose. Others by cashing. That's what I'm figuring. But the road to the biggest win is just being built. What was next year? Zippity do that. <laughs> For Norman, Chad, and Kara Scott, I'm Lon McCarran. We'll see you next time at the World Series of Poker main event.